have to come in waves across the shore Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe Maybe you could fly my kite Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a little bit of a combination video, but first of all, I'm going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm for December, and I'm going to do it try-on style. And whatever is left on my face that needs to be done, that there's not a product in here that I can use for, I'm going to use some of the things from my stash shopping. So um, integrate some of those into the look and, and give those another try. Mostly I'm going to be using my single eyeshadows from my Z palettes and a few other things. So if you'd like to see the look that I come up with using all these things from the Boxy Charm and from my stash, <laughs> then keep on watching. So first I just wanted to show you the card from the box for this month the box that gives all the descriptions of the things that are in the box. And if you're not familiar, BoxyCharm is a subscription service that they send a box out to you once a month for $21. And it has five full-size products, usually luxury products. And the theme for this month is Glitz and Glam. And so I am. I did a lot of my face because I knew that there were not things for brows or foundation. Um, but I'm going to go through here the way that I would ordinarily put on my makeup and I'll show you the products and tell you the retail price and the little description on them as we go. Um, first of all, there is something here by, I think it's Beauté, <laughs> has a little accent, Beauté Basics. And it is a, it's called Bronze Essentials. It says, use individually or mix together for your ultimate bronze and glow. The retail price is $39.95, so this is a very pricey item. So let's get in here and see what this is from Beauté. <laughs> I have to do my little, when I say Beauté. It reminds me of this little girl that I taught. I taught at a school in Oklahoma City very briefly, um, and I was a, I was an assistant to a reading specialist, and there's a little girl in there, and her name was spelled capital D-E, capital J-A-Y-N-E. -E. And so, of course, white girl me says, Dejane, is your name Dejane? <laughs> and she said, no, my name is Dejane. <laughs> I fell in love with her. But anyways, Dejane, couldn't say Dejane without her little neck twitch. She's the cutest thing ever, but anyway. I'm having trouble getting this open. Okay, hmm, this is interesting. It looks like a bunch of different colors of bronzer or contour powders with some highlighting powders mixed in. Um, not really sure. I don't think I would want to mix these all up. I don't know if you can see the swatches on my fingers of the, the bronzer part. And this is the highlighter part. That looks kind of, I don't know. I don't... I don't know if that's a bronzer or not because whenever I did that it looks like it's an overspray almost I'm not sure I'm gonna swatch it it looks I guess like a I guess like a highlighter but not so much I don't think I would want that on the top of my cheeks and I might just be wrong I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna be better off going and swirling my brush around in this all together and maybe having taken a chance of having a little bit of glow on my area that I'm bronzing. Not sure, but I'm going to use my Real Techniques multitask brush like I always do, and I'm just going to go in and <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Oh, I, yeah, I'm going to tap this off for sure. I might end up with a big stripe across my face. I don't know about this one. Oh no, I'm a little bit scared. Okay, here we go. <laughs> actually, I don't see a lot of glitter or, or like glow and it's actually kind of really pretty color actually. So hey, hey, <laughs> I guess we'll just continue on here. But that gold part, the more I touch it, the more it looks like that gold part is just an overspray. And hopefully I'm not making my face look crazy. Everything looks a little weird because 
I had all my foundation and eyebrows and everything on and I was getting ready to film this part and my mom called me and they were coming in from out of town and my dad bought us a fourth of a cow. So they had a ton of beef for us. Well, I had to go pick it up. And then I had to make sure my deep freeze was cleaned out, which it needed to be anyway, so I got that done. And now I'm back to film the rest of this. How nice of my parents to do stuff like that, though. My goodness. We're not going to need meat for a year. Okay, hair. Ambition my face. <laughs> well, I kind of do see some... <laughs> some glimmer on my forehead now. I don't really see it anywhere else, but I think I'm adequately bronzed. I don't know about this one, you guys. I don't know about this one, but anyways, that's from Butte. From Butte. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop now. Maybe. <laughs> I will talk to you about the next two items together. First is a crown brush. The description, the description, the description says deluxe blush brush. But as I look at this, you guys, it's really dense. I don't. I guess I'll use it for blush just to try. But I think I'm gonna. I don't think I would use it for blush. I may use it for contour or something else. But I don't think. I think it's too dense for me. I like really fluffy. This is the kind of blush brush I like. This soft and very fluffy and loose, not dense. So, but maybe I need to get outside my comfort zone as usual. Anyways, this is a tarp, a tarp. This, anyway, this is a crown brush. It's a deluxe blush brush and it retails for $12. The next item is a Real Her blush kit and it says, it is a retail price of $32. Treat your cheeks to an instant natural glow with three shimmery tones. Hmm. I'm going to make myself sound like a makeup snob again, like I always do, but I'm not a big fan of shimmery blushes. Um, I'll give it a try because I'm trying these on for you guys, but this is what it looks like. It has a plastic cover. I'll take that off. Wow, that one in the middle looks really bright. Um, maybe I'll go in with this one on the on on the lower part, and maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure about these. <laughs> Anyways, we've got fearless right here, and limitless and unstoppable. Limitless, unstoppable. How about I swatch these? just to get a feel for what they look like. I've got Fearless, oh, there's no room. Fearless, Limitless, and Unstoppable. Fearless, Limitless, Unstoppable. Unstoppable looks way brown. I think this is gonna be my best bet. We'll see. I'm feeling nervous about all of them, but I think I'm going to go in with Fearless. Be Fearless. Use Fearless. I'm going to take all these swatches off my hand first. Okay. Going in with the very dense blush brush into Fearless, and I'm going to tap it real light, and I'm going to go in real light. Yikes. Okay. Ugh, I don't even know how to use this brush. I don't know. This feels, this feels wrong. <laughs> it feels very wrong. Brush feels way too tight. I'm gonna 
I'm not going to put any more product on it. I'm going to go in and blend this out a little bit because I think I'm, you know, reaching Ronald McDonald's status here. Yikes, you guys. It looks way darker on my in my mirror than it does on your on your screen. <laughs> Mm. Well, we trudge along. I don't know about this. I like I said, maybe it's just a preference thing. I just don't really love shimmery, shimmery blushes. Now, if they were lighter and you could use it for a blush topper, that would be nice. But not sure about this. I probably said that seventeen times, huh? Moving on. All right, the last two items are a lip gloss or a lip liquid lipstick and TARDIS um, eye paint, mascara, lash paint. <laughs> Let me tell you about this. Tar TARDIS lash paint mascara, uh, retail price $23. It says a jet black vegan mascara that has a molded brush that grabs and coats even the tiniest lashes for 2,700% more volume. How do they measure that even? Miss Skeptical says, but regardless, I actually have this, um, and so I'm not going to open this one. I'm going to keep it for a giveaway. Let me find the one that I have open, and I will show you the wand. Put that in my giveaway pile. This is the one that I've been using, and I really do, I really like the formula. Here's the wand for you. I really like the formula. I don't know if that's focusing at all. I really like the formula, but the bristles, if you can see, I don't know, are very, very spiky. And so when you get real close to underneath your, like right near your waterline, you have to really be careful because you will stab yourself in the eye and you will make a mess of your face. So I'm going to use this in my look today, but not until I get to that part. Um... So let me tell you about the the liquid lipstick. This is by Pretty Vulgar, and I and I know that name because that's a new line that Sephora um, started carrying, and I saw lots of reviews on this stuff at the beginning. But it's called um, My Lips Are Sealed Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. It retails for twenty four dollars. Says a highly pigmented liquid lipstick that provides a radiant metallic finish, nice comfortable creamy texture, and a citrus cordial flavor. Hmm. I really like the packaging. I think that's really pretty. You know me, pink flowers. And this looks like a beautiful color. Um, let me swatch it on my hand for you. And of course I'll use this whenever I get to my lips. There's the color. It's a nice rose gold. It's got a lot of pink in it though. And I like that. Very metallic looking. It does, it does kind of smell like oranges. Man, here comes the snob again. I don't really love citrus scented or citrus flavored stuff. And so I don't really love the way that this smells. But hopefully after, you know, most things that are really scented end up not lingering. Most. So we'll see if this does. And I'll use that in my look whenever I get there. So out of all the things in here, I think I, I know I like the TARDIS um, lash paint and I think I'll probably end up liking this. I'm most excited about trying it. The I don't know about the the bronzer and the blush thing. I'll have to use it some more and you know sometimes when you start with things you don't know how you feel until you've used it a couple times. I don't know that I'll dip back into that blush very much but I will try the bronzer again and see. I mean right now I think it looks okay. I'm not wowed or anything by it, and I kind of feel like I have too much of it on my face, but anyway, let's just move on. Um, but I will, on the annotations, put a total of how much the box was worth, guaranteeing you it's over $21. I will leave the information down in the info box if you'd like to subscribe to BoxyCharm. I'll put the my uh, referral link that just gets me charms in their shop to buy product to review for you guys if you'd like to support me in that way. If not, I will put the direct link to BoxyCharm so you can go check out that information there. So I'm going to take a hiatus from the BoxyCharm and move into the stash shopping stuff. Um, on my shopping my stash for the products that I was going to use in December. 
I pulled out um, the Je ne sais, je ne sais quoi uh, quad that's got a bunch of face products in it. And I also wanted to use my singles that I have in these various Z palettes. Um, also, this Makeup Geek one. I've got lots of singles and um, a lot of these I've never even used before. In fact, these have been swatched, but I've never used any of these. So I think I'm going to play around with that for the eyes. And um, on the Je ne sais quoi, I'm just going to use the highlighter because... I have everything else on my face, but this is a beautiful quad and I need to use it more. In fact, I, tomorrow I just need to use the whole thing instead of just the highlighter, but we're going to try the highlighter today. Um, let's see if it has a shade. It's called Sunshine in a Compact and it's that one. And I'm going to use the Morphe M5. Good Lord. M510, M510. So we're going to go into that and see if that'll give us a nice highlight. I don't remember how this performs, but I think it's pretty subtle. I'm actually not seeing it at all. It's building up a little bit. I know some people wet their brush for a highlighter, but somehow when I do that it ends up looking crazy like patchy and weird so I don't want to use it that way let's see if it shows up on my nose a little bit it's pretty subtle And my chinny chin chin. When I look in the in my mirror that's right in front of me here, I do see it. I don't see it so much in this mirror that I'm looking at directly, but I guess that's what we're going with is this subtle highlighter. It's showing up a little bit. <laughs> but that's it for the Je ne sais quoi for now. Listen to all these fancy words I'm having to pronounce tonight. <laughs> all right. Time for the eyes. I Before I went and did all that business, I primed my eyes with Painterly Paint Pot and set it with just some flesh tone eyeshadow, but I feel like it's creased a bit. So I'm going to go back in with um, my Coastal Scents BRC N42 and my Creme Brulee by Wet n Wild. Looky, I hit pan on something. <laughs> I don't hit pan on things often. Celebration. All right. First, I'm going to go in with this Makeup Geek palette, and I'm going to go in with the shade Bake Sale, this one right there, with my BH Cosmetics Blender, just as a transition color. It almost has a very slight rosy undertone. It's pretty. It's like if you took like soft brown and mixed in a little pink. Love that. I really forget to use these singles. I just don't even think about it. And just to add a little bit of warmth in there, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. The first one was Makeup Geek, if I didn't say, Orange Soda. And I love this color. I'm going to go in just a little bit lower just to add a little warmth to that. It may not even show. I'm trying to use as many of these as I can in this one eye look just to see <laughs> what I think of the colors and how they perform. 
I guess it is showing a little bit. Yeah, it is. Um, but the two that caught my eye tonight, just because I guess I'm feeling in a goldy, coppery mood or something, is this one and this one. And I swatched them before I came on camera. This one is called Magic Act. And it's just a really beautiful gold. And then there's kind of a coppery color called Legend. And these are both um, Makeup Geek foils. And I was thinking, I need to use my... Um, trick with the glitter glue with these because they're beautiful on their own. They're even more intense wet and with glitter glue, I don't even know what's going to happen but I want to find out. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go in with the glitters first and then pull in the Americano at the end uh, to deepen the crease. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the glitter glue, the NYX glitter glue. I'm just going to put some on my hand and I'm going to do one eye at a time. I'm just using this... I'm just using this no-name kind of small concealer brush type flat. Just good for glitter glue brush. I'm going to put it all the way across, about two-thirds of the way across. I'll leave it off the edge there because I'll be darkening that with the Americano. I'm putting it a little bit up into my crease because I'll go a little above my crease with the shimmer. So I'm going to start with my finger and it may get messy but I'm going to try it this way and I'm going to go into Legend, the coppery one first and I'm going to go on the outer edge of this area here. Holy cowness. Whew. That made me very happy. Then I'm going to use my MAC 242 just to make sure I have it everywhere I want it here. That is super pretty. Super pretty. I'm going to wipe my finger off and then go into Magic Act. That one. And see. And I put that in the inner area. Make sure my fingers dry before I go in here. Oh my sweet Jesus. <laughs> Holy cow, you guys. Now that is <laughs> a bright, glimmery beautifulness. I am going to go back in with the brush that has the 242, or the 242 that has the legend on it, and try to blend those two together a little bit. Oh, wow. I dig that gold color. I'm going to clean off my brush and go back in to Legend and pull it all the way into this inner corner. I love that. I still feel like they're not blended very well, so I'm going to go back into Magic Act. I think I'm getting these backwards. I'm going to go back into Legend and just put a little bit on my finger and just kind of that over that so that maybe those blend together a little bit better and maybe even grab a blender fluff and just yeah that's some goodness right there <gasps> I'm real happy with that so back with the glitter glue for the other eye And if I didn't show you, that's about how much I use. I put it on my hand so that I can distribute it evenly on the brush. I can hear your laughter coming waves. 
across the shore Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe Maybe you could fly my kite, babe I can hear your laughter coming waves across the shore Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe Maybe you could fly my kite, babe go back into orange soda with the same brush I applied it with and just kind of go in my crease just to kind of blend all that together and I'm going to go under my lower lash line with this as well All right, that'll be a base for the uh, Americano. I'm gonna go with the BRC N51 by Coastal Scents and I'm gonna use that to just pat it on the outside, just place the color and see how it's gonna look. And again, I'm using the Americano right there, really deep brown. Coming waves across the shore. Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe. Maybe you could fly my kite. Now I want to take my E25 by Sigma with the same color but not much. And I'm just going to go up in and blend it out and pull it across the crease a little bit. Come in waves across the shore. Um, now for the lower lash line, I want to go back into Americano and deepen the outer, probably the outer third of my lower lash line, and I'm using the BRC S09 by Coastal Scents. It's a little pokey, pokey, a pointy brush, um, but kind of fluffy, so it really diffuses while it deposits, and I like that. lightish color right here. Um, I think I will go underneath my brow bone with that for a brow bone highlight. It doesn't have a name. It was a, a shadow that came with um, this Ofra palette. It had some shades in it, but none of them are named. So it's an Ofra shadow, but I don't know what color, what the shade name is, as it is not on the back. That's perfect. One more pass with the big brush around the outside just to make sure there's no line of demarcation there. And that's what I got with the eyeshadow. What do you think? I think it's beautiful, especially the foiled ones. I can't believe how pretty that is with the glitter glue. If I had known that, I would have done that a long time ago. I just ran across a shade that might be beautiful for an inner corner highlight called Rapunzel. It's Makeup Geek 2. It's this shade right here called Rapunzel. It's also Makeup Geek. I think I'm going to go in that and try to brighten up my inner corner even more. Very pretty. And maybe the tiniest bit right there. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead now and very quickly curl my eyelashes, put on um, an eyeliner wing, and then I'll come back to use the mascara very carefully on camera with you. Um, finish up the eyes, throw on some lashes, and we'll get to the lip color. Yes. This is what we have so far. Hopefully it looks slightly blended. Not really sure how to alleviate that on the outer corner if it doesn't look blended. I think it I think it does though. But maybe put on 
the um, outer corner, deepening outer corner color first and then put the glitter glue down. I don't know, but I'm okay with what I have. I think it's pretty, so we'll... Did you ever notice I always say, I think it's pretty? Well, obviously, if I'm putting it on my face, I think it's pretty. All right, I'm back with my wings. I didn't fly away. I'm gonna go in with this Tardis. I am gonna be very cautious. I'm just gonna use it on my top of lashes, not on my bottom lashes. I like to use Giga Black Mac. I never say it right. Mac Extended Play Giga Black Lash. That's what I like to use on the bottom. I'm gonna do that first and then I'll go in with the Tardis so you can see how it applies and how it works. And I am gonna try everything within my power not to stab myself in the eye. All right, there's that. Now this. Careful, careful, careful. All right, so we're prepped for the falsies. I'm not going to say the falsies that I'm going to use are easy. I'm not going to say that they're foolproof. I'm not going to say anything about them because when I do that, I jack things all up. So, I'm just going to say, watch me work. <laughs> Today, I'm going to use Christina Wispy lash Lashes. Wispy Lashes. Must be doing something right. I just heard you sigh. Lean into my kiss and close Those deep blue need you I don't know what I did To earn a love like this But baby, I must be doing something right You want to see what I'm doing down here? <laughs> Putting a thin layer of glue. Making sure I got a lot on the outer corners because if anything's gonna lift, it'll be that. I'm using Kiss Lash Adhesive, by the way. I can hear your laughter coming waves across the shore. Oh, I did want to show you guys my new contraption. This is by Kiss also, and it's a false lash eyelash curler. And so when I went in with it, you have to have your eye open really wide. But it kind of pushes the false lash and the natural lash together. And it didn't look like it did much disrupting. And it kind of made it really go upward. Which I think is what it's for. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry some more before I start messing with it. But I'm going to go in with... Um, Better than sex mascara just to blend these together. And also take my uh, eyeliner, which I was using the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen, and go over right here to make sure no lash glue is showing. I hate that so much. When I look at my final look and I'm showing you the final look and you can see lash glue. I hate that. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen tonight. <laughs> and then I guess I'll try the tool on this side too. It feels really strange and wrong. I'm having a hard time seeing. That really
really makes it feel like it pushes it down real tight to the lash line. I like that. Um, go in with the Better Than Sex Mascara. Ow. Yes, I just stabbed myself in the eye. All that talk about being careful with the TARDIS and it's the other one I stabbed myself in the eye with. And there's like this one little thing on the side here that wants to flare way out, but all right, do your thing. Do your thing. If you want to flare, you flare. <laughs> all right, there we have it. Wow, you guys, I really like my eyes. What do you think? Oops, I didn't go back and make sure there was no lash glue on this one. Before I start bragging. All right, looks nice and black to me. Now, I'll show it to you. <laughs> up close and personal like. I think it's pretty. I always think it's pretty. Well, you know what? There were times when I've said, Ugh, don't love this, you guys. But I do love this. And I feel like doing the um, glitter glue and, and the foils has really inspired me for my edgy, eclectic eye look that I'm going to do as my second part of um, the Christmas collab with my friend Sabrina, the makeup mom. So I'm feeling happy about it. Makeup makes me happy, if you didn't notice. <laughs> all right, so all that we have left from the BoxyCharm is this. Um, pretty, vul pretty vulgar liquid lipstick. Um, I don't even know what to do about a lip liner with this. I'm just gonna go in. Let's see how it let's see how it looks. You know what? I'm gonna put my camera down first. Da da. I remembered. Huh. You know, I haven't really tried any metallic lippies. So this is my first experience with it. But I think that I would like a darker color if I was going to go metallic. Even though, I mean, I don't think this looks bad. I think it looks okay. But I don't know. It kind of it kind of reminds me of when I was a little girl and my grandma used to have those little Avon, uh, little bitty Avon mini, the little trial size ones, and they were frosted. And I don't think I. I don't think I've worn like a frosty lip in years, but this does have a really pretty sheen, like a gold sheen that is across it. I wonder if I put a lip liner on with it, if I would like it better, but I don't really know what color, like mauveish. I don't know. Maybe a dusty rose color. I don't know, um, but it feels good. It went on well. I like the applicator. It feels good. It's not doesn't feel like it's going to dry down really tightly or or maybe not dry down all the way at all. I don't know. But that's what we got. So we're bronzed and blushed and eyeshadowed and mascara and so we used everything from the BoxyCharm plus some of my stash items so that makes me happy. I'm going to put this back up so I'm not all forehead. I'm actually going to go do the rest of my hair and I'll come back for some final thoughts. All right, guys. So, you know I got my hair cut. And, yeah, this is the first time I've done it. It's looking wild and crazy. Because, ordinarily, I don't leave it up in clips for two and a half, three hours for it to dry in, in crazy, funky business. So, um, yeah. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Check out the makeup. The makeup looks good. The hair, not so much. But here's a final look for you. 
the lippy is still moist. It's not dried down, so maybe it's not like a matte type liquid lipstick. It's very comfortable. Um, the color is okay. I actually think it looks pretty good with what I have on my eyes, but um, I don't think that I would choose this necessarily going forward. So for the BoxyCharm, I'm not completely wowed about it this time. Usually there's at least one thing that I am so excited about and I, if I hadn't tried the TARDIS mascara, I probably would have been excited about it. But I'm excited to have one to give away to somebody, so that's cool. But, you know, BoxyCharm and any subscription service is hit and miss, and 90% of the time I'm really happy with my box. There's always something that's useful to me, to somebody that I am close to, or to give away. So, not going to be disappointed, but looking forward to the January box. Um, yeah, that's it for me, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I really am happy with what I came up with, so yay me. <laughs> okay, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribed if you haven't already. And until next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. All right, first I'm going to go into this Makeup Geek Quad Quad, this Makeup Seek. Thank you so much for being her. <laughs> I'm It's a wrap. Coming waves across the shore Oh, maybe you could find my guy, babe